Hi, I'm Dr. Champ, and this is a, a quick introduction to the VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. So what we have here is a list of species codes, and they are referring to a full genus and species name, and that's a genus and species name that we would like to replace these values with or include next to it. So what I'm going to do is create a new column here. All right. And then I'm going to use the VLOOKUP function to look in another list for this species code or these species codes and enter the genus species value here. Equals is the way you start any given function in Excel. VLOOKUP, then you open a bracket, then you can refer to um, the instructions that Excel gives you. Uh, the lookup value we want is the species code. Then the next value, the table array, is where we want to look this up. So we go to the next worksheet, which is where this information happens to be. Now you can see if we take a look at this, I'm going to just go over to the side. The species code is the leftmost uh, uh, column, and that's necessary for your start startup uh, in using the VLOOKUP function. So what I'm going to do here is select the species code all the way across the genus species which is the value that I want. And you can see that it's in the fifth column. So now I'm going to use control shift arrow down to select the entire array. Okay, you can see that that spans from A2 to E3 to 19. Okay, so it's quite a substantial list. And you'll see that I excluded some other information that I'm not interested in right now, but I could have included that. Then I enter a comma. And then it's asking me for the column index number, which defines the column that I want it to report back. And in this case, that's column 5. So I enter a 5, comma again. And the final information in the VLOOKUP function is either true or false. True if I just want an approximate match, uh, which we don't. And uh, false if we want an exact match. And that's pretty much what we'll always enter with the VLOOKUP function. So I close the bracket, then simply press Enter, and it's going to take me back to my original worksheet. And you can see that it has replaced this value with uh, the genus species that I was looking for. This Acer SCR uh, refers to Acer saccharinum, which is silver maple. All right, now, rather than doing that whole process for each of these uh, species codes, you can simply copy and fill down. And you can see by doing that, I, and I grab the right lower corner to do that, um, I get this one filled in, and it's filled in correctly. But there is a problem with doing that continuously. Eventually, I'll run into trouble the further down in the list I get. And that's because as I filled, as I copy down, the lookup value changes from C2 to C3. So you can see C2 right there to C3. That's great. We want it to do that, because we want to look up this value the second time. But what also changes is the lookup list. So it changes here from A2 to 3219 to A3 to 322. Zero. And we want that to stay the same. So there's a way to make it stay the same as you copy it down. And that's simply entering a dollar sign before the 2 and a dollar sign before the 3219. So I'll press enter. That doesn't change anything with the current formula. But now you can see when I copy down uh, that it stays the same. And that's what I was hoping for. So now I can copy this all the way down through my list. And you can see that uh, in a very short period of time, I can use this function to fill in all 1,186 pieces of data, and, uh, and that saves us a lot of time. And, and this is a convenient function, certainly in the kind of work uh, that we learn about here in community ecology. So finally, uh, one way to save space is you can see that each of these cells is now a formula. Um, but you don't necessarily want to stay a formula, especially if you want to save space. You want it to, to simply be the value. Um, formulas take up more space. So I can change that by selecting this entire column, right-click, copy, right-click, paste special, and then I choose values here. And then you can see that these are changed to values. I know I did that pretty quickly, but you can rewind if you have to. All right, and that's how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel.